Hello, Taurus viewers. Let's get right into the reading. So it's whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out. I'm still doing private readings as well. So if you'd like a private reading, just email me at dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That email is right below in the description box. And if this resonates, please comment, like, share, subscribe, even just leave a heart react comment. Anything helps. I'm trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm again. So we've got the Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups Reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Page of Swords and Nine of Cups Reverse. Three of Pentacles. The Fool. Four of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Okay, I feel like this is not for the majority of you. I'm just going to get this message really quick and then get into the rest of the reading. But for somebody, be careful who you go into business with or be careful who you trust right now because it really feels like feels like your dreams were not coming true and now you're putting in the hard work, the patience and perseverance um, with the Ace of Pentacles and just kind of doing things your own way. So I think this is a message for someone specific about trusting your intuition and doing what feels right for you because there's something that just feels off. Like this could be like a business deal or going into some kind of business with somebody or be something at work that just isn't resonating with you. So it's basically saying don't let anybody gaslight you or manipulate you. Um, you know, trust your gut, trust your intuition if it's saying something's too good to be true. This could also come to like home buying or anything like that, just basically saying be careful because the energy I get, and again, I'm going to get into the main reading because this is just for like maybe two or three people in this energy group. But basically, it's like you are trying to build something with somebody. You are trying to have this new start with somebody. And it could be re regarding love, but for most of you, I'm feeling more of like a financial career kind of energy here. But it's like you are trying to have this new start and build something with somebody. But it's like somebody is being kind of greedy here. Somebody, this could be somebody that has a wall up, somebody that's defensive, somebody that's being too stingy with money or resources. Um, you know, you, this kind of competitive energy. So it's it's for some of you, it's basically saying you might just want to go into business by yourself and not with this person, but you'll know if this is, don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. Like this is something your intuition would have already been telling you. Like it might be like you're talking about, um, you know, like entrepreneurship or something like that with somebody that, um, like they just have very different ideas than you or they, they want to invest in different things like or there's something about them that's just not sitting right with you. So so basically be careful when it comes to signing contracts and business deals and anything of the sort right now. But anyway, that again, that was only for a couple of you. So let me get into the main message here for Taurus. Ace of Swords, Clarity, Communication, Seven of Swords. Knight of Swords, Justice, okay, Knight of Pentacles, hmm. Seven of Wands, the Empress, the Eight of Cups reversed, the Knight of Cups, Judgment, Page of Pentacles, I feel two different energies here. I feel like there is somebody from the past coming back around, but I feel like some of you are making a judgment call and you're either already talking to somebody new or you're trying to manifest somebody new. It does feel like there's justice though. I feel like you're going to get communication from somebody regarding why they did what they did because it feels like there was like dishonesty you know this could be like lying this could be cheating seven of swords can be it's just sneaky energy basically but there's clarity and communication and with the the knight of swords here the knight of swords is somebody who has you know honor loyalty integrity somebody who's making a commitment to do better so it feels like with the justice card here like you might get 
um, some kind of confession. Maybe someone feels guilty for something they did or they want to apologize for something that they did to you. But I feel like a lot of you with the Knight of Pentacles, it's like you're the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's who's stable, who's grounded. You know, the Knight of Pentacles takes a long time to get to where they're going, but they're very, they put in the work, they put in the effort. And I feel like this is you. And I feel like you're staying true to yourself. You're you're choosing yourself. You're in this Empress or Emperor, Emperor energy. And with the Eight of Cups reversed, it's like, I feel like you're just... You're not sure about whether you want to start over new or stay where you're at. Knight of Cups and then Judgment, Page of Pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you are, when this comes in, you might be deciding just to, to manifest somebody new instead. Let's get some more details on this, though. The Hierophant, the Star, the Three of Pentacles... Yeah, somebody wants to put the effort and work in to build something here with you, with the Hierophant. Now, this could be, okay, so I'm seeing, it's the same energy group. Well, it almost feels like I might be channeling two different energy groups in, in a way because I, it's like the story kind of split. So I think there's two very, two very different variations of this story. So take it as it resonates. For some of you, this is the past person coming back around and they're wanting to build this with you. For others, I feel like the past person is coming back around and they're going to give you some kind of closure, some kind of explanation for why they did what they did. But you're you're going to be manifesting what you want. You're you're more confident lately. You're more focused on on what you want. You're not really interested in going back to the past. So for for that group, I feel like this is actually regarding somebody new and it's like all the love and effort you put into this other person is going to come back to you, but it's going to come back to you in the form of somebody new. So I hope that makes sense. So there's two different variations. Some, this is the past person wanting to build with you. Some it's a new person, but you're basically getting the same love that you put into the old person um, in the form of this new person. Like, let's say you put all this energy into um, trying to make it work with somebody into manifesting somebody and, and, or into, in, into manifesting a commitment with somebody and you put just all this energy in and all this intention in. And if that person's just not getting it together, if they're just doing the same old thing, then the universe might be bringing you somebody who will match what you're looking for. You know what I mean? So you're still getting what you want, but it just might not be with the person you expected it to be with. You know, it's like you might have been in this situation where you're like, I just want this person to be loyal or I just want this person to message me daily or I just want this person to travel with me or do this or that. Um, and... You know, you you do, I, th I think you, you know, like I said, I do feel like this person is coming back around, but for others, I feel like even though they're coming back around, the universe is bringing someone that's more in alignment, somebody that will travel with you and will message you daily and will be loyal to you. So take it, you know, take it whether how it resonates, whether this is the past person or whether this is a new person for you. The past person's coming back either way, though. I do feel like there's a message from mo most of you. At least that that's what the energy is saying currently. Energy can always change. But in this moment, it does feel like this person is wanting to clarify some things and explain their behavior to you and, um, you know, see if there's any potential here, basically. They, they, they're they open, I think, either way. Like, either closure or moving forward together. They, they I think they just want some answers and they also want to give you some answers is basically what I'm feeling here. Um, but yeah, some of you are just going to be like, you know, that's great. I'm, I've got the closure. I'm going to manifest this new person. And others of you are going to be like, okay, like we've, we've given each other this clarity. Let's see if we can build this together. But either way, you have someone coming in that is going to want marriage. Somebody who is tradition, the Hierophant is traditional. It's, it's learning, it's studying, it's someone, you know, it can be somebody that's old fashioned. Um, it's all, it's also about marriage and institutions. And with this, you know, planting the seeds, I feel like this is somebody who, whoever this person is, it's somebody who is wanting long-term commitment. Like this isn't somebody that has a lot of commitment issues. This is somebody that has been wanting marriage. They have been wanting to find their forever person. They, they're capable of long-term stable commitment. 
you know, with the three of pentacles, that's about building something together. So this is somebody who's also realistic. They understand that, you know, relationships take work, that it's mutual give and take, and they want to put the time and energy in because they want that, that family. Yeah. This is somebody who's waiting for their ships to sail in too. They're waiting for like, maybe you guys have been manifesting each other actually to have, yeah. And this is somebody who can, who can put in the long-term effort. Somebody, this isn't somebody who just likes to have fun and go out. This is somebody who's more, I mean, they might be a fun person, but I feel like they're also very like logical and grounded. I'm getting like a king or queen of pentacles kind of energy. Somebody who's um, very, very wise, very, very wise, very grounded, very, um, just stable, just very, someone who's very reasonable. It's somebody that's easy to talk to. They're not going to blow up on you. They're not going to get dramatic for no reason. This is somebody who has a really good balance in life, a really balanced perspective. They're able to open their mind up to other perspectives. Um, they have a lot of integrity. Ten of wands, the hermit reversed, eight of wands. They could also be letting go of somebody. You guys could be mirroring each other in a sense where they might also be letting go of some baggage and some heavy burdens and moving forward and moving themselves out of this hermit energy. This could even be like a twin flame or higher level soulmate coming in for somebody. Two of Pentacles, Balance, Healing, Page of Cups. Could even be a secret admirer type. Um, let's see here. This Four of Swords is all about healing. I feel like this person is balancing that energy. They're kind of realizing that they need to do some healing. They need to find that balance. But it does look like there is some kind of love message coming through here. Ten yeah, temperance. They're finding that balance. Opening up King of Pentacles. There we go. Pen there. There's that Pentacles energy we talked about. The Hanged Man, the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this person is really keeping to themselves right now too, but they are coming out of that hermit energy. But I feel like this is somebody, either you or this person, who's basically been keeping these manifestations to themselves um, because they, they don't want to let people sabotage it, basically. So I feel like this might be somebody who's, who's very strategic, very logical, been manifesting things behind the scenes. Two of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that's been manifesting you behind the scenes, whether this is a secret admirer who's been trying to, like a neighbor or somebody who's been trying to get to know you or somebody that you see out when you're when you're out and about, um, like at gym or at work or, or wherever else. Because it just feels like this person is like strategic, like they're trying to, to put everything into place to manifest this. Um, and if they haven't met you already, I just feel like this is somebody who's who is familiar with manifestation and they're just thinking about what they want and they're trying to open themselves up because they want to meet new people. It could be somebody that's on like a dating app or something as well. Eight of Swords, Five of Wands, The Wheel. Yeah, because I think a connection where it's like you two weren't talking and you guys were both kind of in Eight of Swords energy, like... Like there was potential there, but it seems like a missed opportunity where it's like there, it just wasn't moving. And I think that that is kind of coming to a, yeah, I think that's coming to a close. The four of wands and the four of cups, because somebody wants peace and stability and happiness and they want to get out of stagnant energy. So this might be, I almost feel like you guys are mirroring each other in a way. That's why I'm wondering if this is your twin flame coming in for some of you. I do feel like, let me confirm with the pendulum. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. Is this a twin flame or higher level soulmate coming in? Yes. Okay, so this could be a secret admirer. This could be somebody that you know who's, again, just trying to manifest this, trying to get to know you better. Like maybe like a, like I said, like a neighbor or, or somebody that you see out in public who's, who's just 
trying to play their cards right, trying to get a chance with you, um, or maybe like somebody like on social media or something like that, where it's like they're trying to like like your posts and talk to you here and there, but they're trying not to come on too strong. They're trying to do this correctly. For others, this is just somebody who's who you haven't met yet, but you're energetically, telepathically like connecting with each other. Like you feel like you're about to meet each other, even if you haven't met yet. Um, cause I, I keep getting like a mirroring energy. That's why I'm, that's why I'm drawn to say like twin flame or higher level soulmate, because I feel like you guys are actually both matching each other in the sense that you're both wrapping up cycles with old people. Like, I feel like you're both kind of, you know, the wheel is, it's like that, that wheel is turned, you know, like the wheel of fortune. There's good karma, bad karma, but it's like some kind of lesson or some kind of cycle here has been completed with somebody that you weren't in communication with. It just was kind of stagnant. And, and so I think you guys are kind of learning. It, it's almost like you're telepathically helping each other learn these lessons, even if you don't physically know each other. And I feel like you're wrapping up that energy. And with the four of wands, it's like you both want peace and stability. You both want, you don't want to be in that kind of situation again. And you're both getting yourself out of stagnant energy. You're both, you know, kind of living your best life and like manifesting each other right now. Three of cups. You might meet at a social gathering. There might be, there might be some kind of social event. If you get invited somewhere and you just feel intuitively like you should go, I would go. Like if it's unexpected, like your friend's like, hey, I'm going to travel for a couple days. And like it feels, again, use your intuition, use your discernment. But it's like if it feels right to you, if you're just feeling like called to go somewhere, like if you're feeling drawn to go visit um, another state or another city for like a week or so, or if you're just feeling drawn to check out someplace new or just go out, like maybe you're maybe you're more of a home buddy and lately you're thinking, Hey, like maybe I should join a dating app or maybe I should, um, go check out this bookstore or go check out this club or go to this park or go travel or do something new. Like, you know, just do it and don't, don't do it with like the expectation of like, Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to find this person. I'm going to meet this person, you know, cause that's just going to drive you crazy. But I mean, just do it for yourself, you know, and that's when it's just going to happen naturally. It's like when you're it's, I think it's called the law of motion. It's like when you're just putting yourself out there and you're living your life, that's kind of when like people are drawn to you. Like, have you ever noticed that a lot of times, like when you're just like at home and you're in that stagnant energy, like nothing is happening, like nothing's manifesting, but then you start going out with your friends and you start traveling and living your life. And like, there's so much synchronicity. Everything is just flowing. Everything is just falling into place. And like, that's when that manifestation comes when it's just like kind of out of nowhere, you just like meet somebody or you get a phone call from like an old friend or it's just, it's just like life happens. You know what I mean? But you have to kind of like tune into that energy. you got to kind of get on board with that energy, you know? So if you're usually kind of in that hermit mode and like lately you're feeling like you want to go out, you want to have fun, you want to do new things, like just do it. But again, just do it for you. Just you know, think about your hobbies, pursue, pursue your hobbies, pursue the things that are, are you that you're passionate about, you know, just get that energy flowing again. Five of swords, this, yeah, you guys are both moving on from like this, like drama, toxic people, toxic situations, toxic jobs, like all of it. Like the sun is the most positive card in the deck. So you guys are kind of helping each other heal, even if you're not like, even if you don't know each other in the physical world yet. The emperor strength. This is a very strong person. This is somebody with a very strong, like masculine energy. Even if it's a woman, it's still somebody with a very strong masculine energy. Somebody that's very, um, like assertive and like dominant in the right ways. Like somebody that goes after what they want. They're very logical, very wise. Nine of wands, six of wands tower yeah I feel like both of you kind of fought for somebody that like wasn't seeing you like you didn't like you fought to be seen you fought you you fought for something here and this could be work this could be love this could be multiple things but I feel like you guys are mirroring each other where you're both going through this at the same time um or or similar timelines at least but nine of wands and six of wands it's like you you fought to be like seen and recognized and and 
to, um, you know, Six of Wands is all about like victory and success and like public recognition, but you, you weren't being appreciated. So you're being taken out of that situation where you weren't appreciated that that devil energy, there's a tower coming in moving forward you know like you're you have a new start and you're going to be studying and doing something new queen of wands nine of swords okay yeah there's also like an ending and transformation to that like anxiety energy to um feelings trapped and stagnant you know ten of swords is like rock bottom too so it's like it might be like a painful stressful ending but it's ultimately a good thing um King of Cups, Queen of Swords, Angel de la Nunes, Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's basically like saying you're in this middle of like a major transformation. Um, and I've been getting the energy for a few of the different zodiac signs that I do. So this is like a, this isn't just specific to, to Tauruses right now. This is actually a this is actually for quite a few energy groups. It's a, it's a big collective energy right now, basically going through these transformations. A lot of people are wrapping up karmic cycles and they're getting on a higher timeline and they're, they're manifesting, you know, true love, like a higher soulmate or twin flame. A lot of people are, are finally like learning their karmic lessons and like leaving, um, you know, energies that no longer serve them behind basically. So so you do have good energy coming forward, like you do have this, this transformation. I would just say, you know, like I said, if you feel drawn to go somewhere, I would go, go to that place. I would really listen to your intuition and just basically just getting out of stagnant energy and getting life flowing again, you know, doing what you need to do to bring that passion and excitement back into your life, doing things that are fun for you, doing things that resonate with you like finding that work play balance basically so anyway i hope this helped you guys again please uh like comment share subscribe uh, i do these re readings regularly so if you subscribe you'll you know be able to see when i'm on um and yeah even just leaving like a heart react comment below it really helps me get back in the algorithm so i appreciate it and again my email is below if you'd like a private reading thank you for watching